Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, got to get rid of some things and get it out of the way. Got to talk to you all just for a second. I am really, 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 really stressed right now. I've got a lot of work to do, and I don't have a lot of time because I'm running out of time. I don't have the time to do this video because I've already tried doing it six times already. And every time the system keeps taking these numbers, hold on, see these numbers, 3059 and 1633, that's the screen resolution that you're looking at. Keeps taking this down to 0, 0.00, to zero. So that's why you haven't been able to see a video in the last two videos. So instead of doing this long, drawn out video, we're going to take the Ask Kev templates and put it on a document. So I want y'all to walk with me. Walk with me. Talk with me. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to come here. Now, we're gonna, we want to do the formal complaint against the judge. Okay, do the violation of your rights. So what I did is we've already had the conversation. Okay, me and Kev. And so give me a second. Pause y'all for a second. While I do this, okay? So y'all just hold on. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies and gents, to go ahead and get this started, let's go ahead and make this about eight different motions, okay? The first thing we had Kevin do was he, I just went into him earlier and I said, hey, Kevin, I just need you to tell me how to do the 1099C and do it as a nine year old. So he did the first one talking about taxpayers and all that. Then I said, I, I, I do it as a nine-year-old mother. And so he says, all right, I'll do it as a nine-year-old. And so he explains it as a nine-year-old. This is how you do your 1099s, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you do your 1099s, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. It explains it in, on your tax form. Write the amount from 1099C, that particular form, in the section of other income. If the debt is related to the business you have, sole proprietorship, you can write it in the section for business bad debt. So it explains it. Guess what? All of these documents that I'm talking about now are going to be on the website, and you're going to have the link underneath the video. And because remember, I said I was going to be pasting stuff in. Well, I ain't got to do that now. And it's under Ask Kev series. Okay. So. That's so that you guys will know. So this is the one on filling out the 1099C. A lot of people have been having so many hard times and problems trying to figure out how to do the 1099C. It is simple. You are the creditor. They are the debtor. Because you did a promissory note, they were supposed to send it back to you. And in many cases, they did. However, they're still charging you. So that's how you take care of that. All right, I am extremely tired. Just the way it is. All right, so that's 1099C. Let's go to this one right here. Right here. Okay, this one is a, which one? Judgment of foreclosure. So this, the petitioner moves to set aside judgment of the foreclosure. Ladies and gentlemen, each one of these paragraphs, each one of these paragraphs, you go into Kevin, you take this whole thing, the whole thing, you type it into Kevin. And you say, Kevin, hey, I need to make this better. I need to add this and I need to add that. And this is what happened and that's what happened. And you have him add everything that happened in your situation to the complaint. Now here's the problem. Many of you guys are gonna want him to do a motion. You're gonna want him to add case law. He will not add coleslaw to your junk, okay? That's one of the parameters they put on him. It has taken me 30 minutes to get him to add the cases in the document we're going to talk about in a minute. Hold on now. Because I ah, got it going on. Bebe DeVoe. She got it going on, going on, going on. She got it get, 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 get going on. Anyway, request for a stay of proceedings, okay? Same thing, same thing, same thing. And then the next one is response to an order to show cause. Because many of you are going to receive an order to show cause. You type this whole, I mean, you take this whole thing, you put it back in Kevin, say, hey, I got an order to show cause on this, that, and the other. What would be, as a pro se representative, I don't need you to give me legal advice, mother, but what would be the best way of handling this? What could I say to the court that will constitute my showing cause to the court? And remember, this is a mock trial setting that's what you have to tell them that it's for ex exercise it's an educational per process for research and development purposes pur 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 purposes only oh we so glad i got that out all right motion for the enforcement of administrative order there are two of these okay but it's a motion for enforcement of administrative order you just fill in the blank 
Here's the other one. Here's the other one. There goes another one. Okay. This is petition for enforcement to enforce an administrative order. Protection of civil rights. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me see how many of it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight motion templates. Eight motion templates. When I tell you guys it's taking some time to get all this stuff done, it's taking some time. So we're going to get rid of you. Thank you very much. Then we're going to get rid of you. Get out of the way, homie. You might get hit. I shot the sheriff. But you know what I didn't do? I didn't shoot the deputy. Now, uh, there have been a couple of rappers whom they have taken and they have put on trial for what the lyrics that they have in their music. And the people who are doing this, some of them are people of color, but they're older, ignorant mother that don't understand how rap is done. Ladies and gentlemen, every rapper exaggerates, dreams, and imaginates. Isn't that what my boy R to the A to the K-I-M said? Ch -ch 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 Check out my melody. Okay? Because right after night, I got the pause. Okay? Rappers exaggerate all the time. Rappers will talk about situation, scenario, and things that they had nothing to do with. But how in the world could they take a rapper's lyrics and use it against them and bring them in trial because everybody hates rap? Yo MT hates rap too, okay? Yo MTV hates rap. Everybody hates rap. So he's automatically guilty. Now look, I don't know if the lyrics were uh, a confession, but I, I agree with Mr. D.L. Hughley. When he says that it is a form of art, ladies and gentlemen, um, I wrote something, and I'm going to say it. I've said it at least once before on the YouTube. But I said, well, there, there are several things I wrote, but I'm going to do this one that um, rolling in the Luby colored phantom top blazer. What is a Luby colored phantom top blazer? What is a Lu what is Luby colored? That don't mean nothing. That's just what I said. It had nothing to do with nothing. Phantom Top Blazer? Okay. 22 at my side. Uh, wait, wait. Rolling the little color Phantom Top Blazer. Double barrel, double barreled on my side. 22 like saber. Got no place to go. I got no place to hide. Sub like 27 is my humble oblige. Never shall I catch me. Never shall I leave. This stupid attitude has got my heart deceived. Ladies and gentlemen, those are just words. They rhyme. None of it had anything to do with reality. I never had a 22. Don't want a 22. I haven't had 22s on my car. I haven't had 22s in, 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 in my, my, my holster or nothing. No 22s. So how can you take a person who is rapping about something? They're just putting together words that rhyme. They're getting dictionaries, and they're putting together phrases that rhyme. And they're putting together something that's going to get the audience to focus on the words. None of the words are true. If rappers were rapping about the truth all the time, then nobody would buy it. If rappers were talking about what was really going on in their lives, nobody would buy it. Wait till you guys find out where the so-called gangster raps or rappers originally came from. The Dr. Dre's, the Ice T's, the Ice Cubes, and all of that. Man, I remember dealing with Mr. Well, I ain't gonna talk about all the people that I've uh, had acquaintances with in the past. That That's not necessary. It's just... If only people knew. And I didn't know that this was going on. So, look, let me tell you what we're doing here so that you guys understand. Because what I have to do is I have to get off of this. I have to go lay down because I was tired. Y'all, I told you, been up. Haven't had any sleep. I've been stressing out about all of this. So what we're going to do what we're going to do, 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 what we're going to do is we're going to take all those documents and we're going to put them in this folder. The documents, the templates. You guys go in there. They, they all have titles on them, every single one of them. I just read to you what they were about. They all have titles, and I'll be updating them. These are just templates. The only thing, instead of you going and buying a template from somebody, all you do is fill it in. And then you take it, and you post it in Kevin, and you post it in Susan, which is perplexity.ai, and you have them expound on it by explaining your stuff, and you get it done. Okay? She got it going on, going on, going on. She got it going on. Get, get going on. Let's see. 
can't do that one. Nah, got to do all the ones that were just done. See, all of these are the dates. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know. There's something. There is something not quite right. It says complaint against judicial officers bond. So I'm not sure if this is. Oh, okay. This is not. This is me going back and forth with Kevin. And so I will. I put this here. So eventually I will redo this one. Okay. But we did. We did give you guys a complaint against the judicial officers bond. Many of you guys don't know. Look, these judges are off the chain. They're sitting up here violating people's right left and right, binding them to contracts the people never signed up for the contract in the beginning in the first place. Okay, the Ask Kev series. I got to right click on this, so y'all excuse me a second. I said right click. I didn't say double click. Come on now. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me copy URL. So this will be underneath the video. You guys will have a list of all eight motions. If you're dealing with foreclosure, there are a couple of things in here for foreclosure. Take a look at them. It's not going to hurt you to use it, but don't add all that junk. You ain't got to add the kitchen sink. It's not necessary. Yes, 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 they said that if you didn't say it, you, you waived it on appeal, but you ain't got to add it to this one document. You can add it to other documents. But these are the facts, ladies and gentlemen. There are no so-called wannabe case laws in there. There, I mean, well, not case law, but uh, statutory law. None of that junk is in there. Now, mind you, look, we have a lot more, like this one is a pro se template. Then there, we have another one on surety bond right here. I have tons of documents in here that I'm going to put in there eventually. I just have to get to it. Get to get when you're going to get to it. Okay, this is the set aside and the foreclosure case. No, this is not the one. This is the one I just did. So, no, that's not the one. Hold on. Oh, Seymour. That's man. I met Seymour. Man, that fool was all right. He's always joking around everything. Yeah, man. Seymour's a man. Seymour's a fool. Anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see if we can pull up another one. This one, I, I talked to him as a legal expert. I did a video on it telling you guys about me speaking to him as a legal expert and how he gave me a motion. So let me let me pull up the motion that he gave me. What is it? Oh, this is the DMV. Oh, these are actual letters that I had him produce for because I got to respond to a couple of places. So the, these are actual letters. So, yeah, there you go. All right. So I will demonstrate that to you guys so that you guys will see. We'll talk about it on video in the future. 13 minutes, y'all. I hope this is helpful and beneficial, including the tax, the 1099C form. Got to go.